Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM and it comes in 148 scale. It copies uh, Jigdoc, so called aircraft JD-1D Invader, but this time it comes with a KDA-1 drone. So both kits were available as a solo releases before, but now we have them combined into one box and it might be an interesting thing to assemble in a popular 148 scale. And as you can see kit number is 48289 we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and we are going to open it and check what is actually supplied here so first of all box art is really nice here and box is quite large so here for example you can see the short history note and some information about the kit and the wingspan will be 448 millimeters there should be 239 parts so it's quite a big project to own, undertake let's say and here you can see one of the marking options which is included I'm saying one of them because I truly hope that there are more than one in such combo but let's see because usually ICM uh, does show one of the markings and then there are more in the assembly manual and we get decals for more marking options so box is sealed with the tape that's what i'm doing now i'm cutting through it but in the meantime i would like to remind you that you can support us with a small donation and i would really appreciate it because it will help us to get new kits and maybe some new equipment which will improve the video and maybe photo quality as well and it's quite easy thing to do because you can do it uh, here directly in YouTube or maybe you can do it via PayPal on our website. It's up to you which one you choose, which way, but uh, all this money will be really useful in order to support DSV. So what I'm trying to do now is to open the box and that's exactly what I was talking about before because if the box is too thick, as you can see, this top cover is really uh, tricky to take out and... Okay, we succeeded in this and inside as you can see we have this uh, sturdy white cardboard box and we have all the parts. There is plenty of space inside so I don't think these parts will arrive to you in a damaged condition but still it's, I would say there is something has to be done in order to avoid such tight fitment of the top lid because otherwise some motherers are getting angry and just uh, cutting or tearing it apart because it's uh, a lot of hassle just to remove a cardboard cover. Okay, now what I'm doing is uh, removing all the plastic parts and we will start checking them one by one. There are a lot of screws and first of all we have here the resin wheels Actually, not resin, but plastic wheels, but uh, not rubber. That's the main important part here. And as you can see, they are quite nice. I would say they are okay for out-of-the-box build. Each one should be glued out of two holes. We have guiding elements inside. And obviously, wheel rims are molded separately. But if you want more features on your aircraft, I think Edward already has their own resin set. So you can just get it and install on your model. But obviously it will cost more, so it's up to you whether you would like to spend more on such build. Next we continue with a bigger plastic sprue, so this one is dedicated to the drone. So here you can see that we have all the parts on one frame, we have fuselage halves here and on the opposite corner as well. We also have wings here and also some minor internal components because obviously there is no interior but we have to copy the air intake and with air intake I would recommend to be careful in order to get a smooth connection between these parts and as you can see we have some guiding elements so it should be easy to combine these parts just do not hurry and you'll be fine and of course do not forget about dry fitment because usually it helps with such large builds next we continue with wing parts actually these are parts for one side of the wing and as you can see it should be glued out of two holes. We have wing mechanization separately. We also have here large tabs which should support wing from both sides. 
I would actually not rely on the plastic only, I would add maybe some metal rod in order to ensure the overall durability of the construction, but it's up to you, because the wingspan is really huge, that's why it's better to be uh, to apply some preventative measures as well, so that you can get a better fit and more a thorough connection between parts. Next we continue with the fuselage panels, so here as you can see everything is quite simple, it's just the bottom panels and also we have some nose section elements and if I flip them over here inside we have some guiding pins which should help you with alignment of these parts inside the aircraft. Next is the pair of identical plastic sprues which are dedicated to engines and it's really cool because even in this let's say combo set, ICM decided not to skip it and include the fully detailed engines for both engine gondolas, so it's not like one can be opened and another one will have to be closed, here we have both of them and it might be a wise idea to make one of them easily removable, I mean this frontal cooling section coming as a single piece part, you can avoid gluing it into the place and this way it will be easier to remove it on your model in order to expose the engine underneath. Next we continue with more parts for the nose section, here we have all the minor elements for the cockpit and other things, so nothing interesting in my opinion. Next we have first clear sprue here, it comes in a separate plastic bag, so just give me a second to open it. And here we have canopy parts, so they look fine, I really hope that we have also masks guide here, because usually ICM includes the masks template in their kits, in the assembly manual, so let's hope that this kit is not an exclusion, but in the worst case you can get the masks from Edward, because they started producing the both exterior and interior masks for this kit. And there is one more clear sprue, you could have heard that I was opening it, so here we have more clear parts for this aircraft, and again they are made in the same quality, so there is nothing to complain about. Next we continue with the fuselage parts, and both are coming on the separate plastic sprue, why I'm a bit confused, because I'm trying to understand how they are divided, so we have the nose section separately, we have the tail fin pre-molded, and we also have, note here, the top section and bottom panels molded separately, so you can install them as one-piece parts, and that might contribute to the overall ease of assembly, but still, I would rather pay attention to the fitment of such large parts, and we also have the guiding elements here, so it might also speed up the assembly process so that you won't have to worry about possible issues. Next we continue with another large plastic sprue, so here we have landing gear doors, also instrument panels, some of the parts for the fuel tank, some of the parts for the cockpit, here you can see landing gear legs for example, which are quite large. And again, molding quality seems to be fine, uh, do not forget that for the cockpit, for example, we have already aftermarket available, so I would rather recommend to get it, because it should be visible even through the canopy, so that's why it might be a worthy upgrade. Next we continue with the new fuel tank, so this one was used to counterbalance the drone under wing, so it will be placed on the other side of the wing, as you remember. And that's really good addition that ICM decided not to skip on this part of the, let's say, overall design and copy it as well with help of new parts. And here we have another grey sprue, this one is actually the last one, so here we have now, the other side of the wing, which is also assembled out of two house, and we also have the engine gondolas. What I'm doing at the moment, I'm trying to get the decal sheet, it is somehow bent during the shipping, so you can see it with your own eyes. Nothing uh, serious, we have all symbols intact, we also have some decals for the instrument panels, no seat belts decals, so that's why I was saying that it's better to get the P set, which will actually provide you with all necessary features in the cockpit. And another thing which is quite important, we have here the assembly manual obviously, so here we will learn how this aircraft should be assembled. And this is a typical cover printed brochure, we have short history note and technical specifications on the first page, next we continue with the parts map, 
And of course red color means that these parts will not be used. Assembly process starts with the cockpit and here you have to plan how you will paint all these elements because obviously they will be enclosed in the fuselage so you won't have a chance to paint them later and that's why it might be a wise idea to go through all the pages first in order to plan how you will paint this or this area of the aircraft and then you start the assembly process because otherwise you might end up with some tricky situations trying to paint this or the section so what you can see on this page you see is the assembly process for the wing as you remember we have the separate wing mechanization so we can drop the flaps on the aircraft and next we assemble the engine nacelles here do not forget to insert 100 grams of the weight inside of each engine gondola so that you won't have a tail sitter and next we continue with installation of them under the wing we assemble the landing gear system and then we start working on the engine so as i said engine here is surprisingly detailed that's why it's worth spending some time painting and weathering and then exposing it because as you can see here we have one piece frontal coating section so it should be easy to remove and uh, the only thing which is required from you is not to glue it into the place Next we continue with the special racks for the drone and fuel tank. You should also drill the fuselage in order to get the antennas installed in the, the right spots. Here you can also see the propeller installation. And then we have the drone assembly on the separate page. Surprisingly, no, here we have the mask template, so it's good because all the clear parts will be actually covered with masks. Here we have the first marking option and that's the second marking option. So actually we have two markings and at least this is better than one. And of course for such big build, uh, I guess authors were also limited with the lack of real prototypes or maybe some reference materials but it's up to you if you can find something different you can obviously replicate it as for the whole kit it should be already available in all good model shops for example you can get it in Modelimax and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and I will see in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and Bye.